This is an introduction. Yeah. Cause I was tired of running. I was tired of running from my destiny. What's going on, everybody? This is KJ Scriven out of North Carolina, and this is the introduction. Well, um, my mom, if you ask my mom, she'll say I started in the womb. <laughs> she said I used to bang my head on her stomach and stuff like that, you know, so it was it was uh, pretty crazy. She told my dad, make him stop, make him stop. So um, I started then, and I actually took that habit on to, I mean, I was infant, they said, probably before I could talk. My dad was actually a uh, musician and songwriter, you know, and everything as well. So I used to listen to the songs he used to do with his group. And then at, at night, and then they would catch me before I could talk. I was, like, banging my head on the pillow and singing, like, to the rhythm of the song and singing songs and stuff like that. So I started like that. I come from a, a, a very musical family, a musically inclined family. So, you know, it was real, it was real cool. You know, that, that was real cool. You know, both sides of the family, a lot of big singers, big family. So um, Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, all of those different things, you know, it was, um, you know, it was pretty crazy. So we were always singing songs, singing, you know, different things. So it was, it was real cool. It was real cool. So, you know, that's kind of how I started. That's kind of how I started singing. Man, I mean, when somebody listens to my music, you know, I want them to, when they walk away from everything, I, I want them to feel, um, you know, rejuvenated. I want them to feel, uh, just like, just like I said, you know, with the with with the gospel, with, with with good news. I want them to walk away as if they got some good, like, as if they just got some good news. Like, you know, um, like they have a hope, they have a future. You know, um, you know that they understand it doesn't really matter what you did. You know, from a spiritual standpoint, it doesn't matter what you did, where you've been. You know. Um, there's a blood, you know, there's a there's there's someone who died for you. There's someone who loves you enough that he, he would give his life for you. Um, and you know, and, and the and the word says, you know, you know, what greater love, you know, can a can a man have than to get to than to give his life for a friend, you know. So, you know, uh, I, I would say that and then also just you know, just from an overall standpoint, I think for me, I want other people to understand that, you know, whatever you put your mind to to do, you know, you you can you can do it. You know, if you got a purpose and a passion within your life, you know, and for me, that thing is uh, music and artistry and, and ministry as well. Um, and that's a passion of mine. And and I and I let some other things go, you know, in my life in order to have the opportunity to follow after this dream. And so I want people to know, yes, from a spiritual side, you know, there's a hope, there's a future for you, you know. Um, there's a God, there's a God that loves you, you know what I mean. And uh, and there's a there's a joy and a happiness, you know, that is uh, associated with that. So you know, I, I just want everybody to know all of those things. So I, I mean, that that's that's what I would say. I would want them to walk away with that. Man, I would say, was I mean, whatever God wants me to do, man. Um, uh, but you know, honestly, you know, like I said, I just, you know, of course, we just dropped the, you know, the EP, you know, like at the end of last year, you know, the, uh, the introduction. Um, that's been getting great feedback, and to the point where people want more music. So, you know, um, of course, I'm, of course, I'm working on a, on, on a full, full length record on my first full length album, and uh, so I just hopefully, you know, I'll be granted, you know, I've been granted so many opportunities to go to so many different places, beautiful places to, uh, to minister and. Um, things of that nature. So I just want to continue doing that, continue spreading that good news, continue spreading that gospel. And, um, you know, and hopefully we'll get this uh, this this full record out, you know, soon. And um, hopefully, you know, we can just take it to, I just want to grow in every facet. I want to grow in every facet of, of ministry. So hopefully, you know, sometime here in 2011, man, we can, we can come out with something that's just like absolutely game changing, absolutely, you know, just, uh, just shaking the foundation of what's, you know, what's already been there. So that's what I would say, man. Let's go. See, I've been going through some changes. There's some problems I've been facing. Uh, and I need to be fixed, Lord. Uh, I'm under construction. Yeah. Broken by the burdens that I bear. I'm damaged beyond my own repair. And only you can fix it, Lord. Oh, uh, I'm under construction Now you're the potter And I'm the clay oh, I give myself to you 